Okay. Here's a spec example. That's my dictionary on the left. Up at the top there, I've got my morph modes. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say that we're only going to morph with change mode on. You can go back and practice this on your own. And I'll show you where you could change in the swaps and, and lengths as well. Right? Over here is my Q. And then uh, my goal is to go from chip to stop. And what I also need uh, right here is my current word. Sarait. We start out by seeding the container, right? And I'm going to seed the container with my start word, chip. I can do that right away. As soon as I've read the command line, I know what the start word is. After I parse the dictionary and confirm that the start word is there, then I can seed the container. That means I can put the value in there. Now the container can get into the loop action. But anytime I put something into the container, I have to make sure to mark that as used. So I don't try to put it in there again. All right. So now I'm ready to jump into the loop. And here's the simple part that's outlined in the project spec. This is what I do every time. I take the next thing out of the container. And for terms of popping something off the queue, I'm going to cross it out. Right? Now it's no longer in the queue. The queue is empty. But my current word is chip. Chip is good. And now I'm in the loop, right? I've taken something out of the container. And now I find all of the things that are near it. Well, chip has already been used. Chop. Chop is close. It's one letter away from chip. So I'm going to put chop in here. But since I've put it in the container, I'm going to mark it as used. So I never try to do that again. Junk is nowhere near chip. Leet, let, shin, and ship. Well, ship is near chip. All I have to do is put ship in here and mark ship as used. Shop is not near chip. It's two letters away. I have to change the C to an S and I have to change the I to an O to get that one to work. So shop is a no-go. Shot, equally bad. Stop, equally bad. So there's me going one iteration through the loop. I've pulled the word out and I've processed it by adding all of the words that are near it, right? Now, if I was looking at these things with more modes turned on, with more morph, more, more morphs, more, with more morph modes turned on, I say, well, I looked at, well, let's pull off another current word. It's chop. I pull chop off. And as I look through here, I say, well, chip has already been used. So we'll just move on. Chop's already been used. Now, how can I get to junk from chop? Can I get there by changing one letter? No. Can I get there by swapping letters? Well, I don't have that mode turned on. But if that mode was turned on, then I would say, can I get to junk by swapping two letters in chop? Turns out, no. But if L was turned on, I'd say, can I chop a letter off of chop to get to junk? Or can I add a letter to chop to get to junk? And if I can't, then I've checked C, S, and L, and I, or C, P, and L, sorry, and I can't get there. So junk doesn't go in. I move on. Leet and let also nowhere near, so we move on, right? How about shin from chop? Change mode, I can't get there by changing one letter, so it's not close. Ship has already been checked, so I keep moving. Shop, however, is one letter away from chop. I say, that's great. Let's mark that as used and put in shop, just like that. Shot is farther away from chop than it needs to be. Stop also farther away, so I'm done with another iteration. Next up, pop something from the container, and then investigate those things near it. So I'll pull ship out, make that my current word, and now I'm looking for things over here in the dictionary that haven't been used that are some number of, well, one morph away from my current word. Currently, the only way I can morph is by change, so it's only one change away. So I look at chip. It's been used. It's pretty close to ship, but it's already been used, so I don't use it again. Chop, used, junk, not close, leet, let, and shin. Well, shin's close. Shin is pretty close to ship, right? It's one letter away, so I can get there with a single change. So I'll mark that as used, push shin into my queue. After that, ship has already been used, shop has been used, shot is not close, stop, also not close. 
So there I've gone through another iteration. So I'll pull out my next word here. I'll say shop is next. Shop says chip use, chop use, junk leet let not close. Shin, ship, and shop all used. Shot is close to shop. Market. Stop is close to shop. Market. Hey, wait. I was trying to find stop, and I have found it. Let's stop. If stop was before shot, yeah, in a reasonable uh, world, I would just not even check, right? Because as soon as you push that thing into the container, you should just stop, right? Simple to just push it in there and then check. After I've put this thing in there, was it my goal word? Because what I don't want to do is say, well, stop is in the queue, and I know how to get there, but I'm going to investigate shin anyways, because it was next, and then I'm going to investigate shot, because it was there, and then I'm going to investigate stop. Well, I already know how to get there. If I can find stop, I can get there. So, there I go. This is my path, right? Wrong. Right? I can't change from chip to chop. Well, I can change there in one letter, but I can't change from chop to ship in one change, can I? It looks like chop is one letter away from chip, but ship is also one letter away from chip. So where's shop come in? Well, shop could be one letter away from chop, and shop could be one letter away from ship. Anybody remember which? I don't know, but your project should remember. Your project should find a way to remember. Because if I can remember, then I can say, well, I've got a way from shop back to either ship to chip or shop to chop to chip. Because my final word here, stop, is obviously one change away from shop. So. The reason why I need more information here is to fill in those dotted lines to figure out which one of these is going to get me back to the beginning. Does that make sense? You need to keep track of more information than just the dictionary. You see me checking things off. You see me needing to figure out how I can make this traversal. That's what I got for you. Office hours next. in swaps, but in in changes, you need to have what actually got changed, too. the letters that got changed, even if it's not something that is asked for out there. Yep. Right. So that's probably more work than you need to. You can find a simpler way to keep track of where you came from. Okay. 